This is from the Bleacher Report. It's kind of interesting. So uh, these are prospects for the Browns to avoid in the 2023 draft. Uh, they say wide receiver Tank Dell, 5'8", is what he goes. Some concern whether his size could prevent him from being successful in the NFL. Zach Harrison didn't put up huge sack numbers during his time with the Buckeyes, notching only 11 in 40 career games. And uh, Trey Dean, the third safety from Florida, may not be the best fit in Cleveland. Uh, team should be looking for speed in the back half of their secondary. Um, I get the, the – I, I, I can't argue with Tank Dell. I've, I've kind of thought the same thing. Harrison's the one that's kind of intriguing just because the, the, the measurables – are really interesting, and you wonder, can a guy like Jim Schwartz coach him up? Yeah, so Tank Dell for me is is interesting just because you can't teach speed, right? So um, you you got to at least look at what can he do. And, and really good offensive coordinators uh, and offensive coaches put players in position to do exactly what they can do. So if you get Tank Dell on some some streaks, some nine routes, you put him in some wide receiver, wide receiver screen action, he might be useful. For me, size isn't as important as how you use it, um, which goes to Zach Harrison. Zach Harrison has all the measurables, but I think it's really hard to teach bend, right? And so from a defensive end perspective, if you don't have bend to be able to get around the corner, all of a sudden your moves and your counter moves are very, very limited. I'm not saying he's going to be this player, but Harrison reminds me a lot of Jadavion Clowney in that he's going to push the pocket Right. He might get pressure through long arms and bull rushes and and some of that kind of stuff, but he's not going to get around the end. He's not going to cause chaos in the backfield. He would allow Miles Garrett to cause chaos. Right. He's the kind of, of defensive end that's going to set the edge. So it really depends on where you're going to draft that player. If that player is 74 overall, well, you want somebody who's going to make a little bit more of an impact at least with some pressures and those kind of things. If he is your fourth round pick, all of a sudden there's some value there. So for Harrison, it's all about where is he selected? I think many people think he's going to be a third round pick based on kind of those skills that you talk about. Um, and then Trey Dean, very, very versatile player. I just not, I'm not sure he's anything more than Ronnie Harrison at this point in time, some injury issues, those kind of things. I like a versatile player. If you have something that you do really, really well, came into Florida as a cornerback, played safety, played linebacker uh, at some level in, in the way their scheme is set up, uh, but really doesn't have a position that he is then versatile out of. He's just kind of moved around a lot. Yeah, you know what? That's that's a fair point. Where you draft somebody is, is as important as if you're drafting them.